I have a layer in my map called Brownfield Land. If I open up the table and pull it into screen, we can see that there's a column called hectares. And for every point, there's a hectares value. And this is the area of each site. So I can use that column to size my labels and my points, which I'll do now. I'll double click on Brownfield Land. And in Symbology, I'll change the color as well. So I'll, I'll use a kind of red fill and a white outline. And for the size, instead of two, I'll click on the Data Defined button, hit Edit, and then I'm gonna use the column that's got the hectares measurement in it. So I go to Fields and Values, and I'll double click on hectares. Now, I want each size each point to be a minimum size, so I'll do a two and then a plus. So each point will be at least size two. So if I click OK and OK, we can see what happens. We get a different size point for each site, but it's immediately obvious where the largest ones are because we've sized it that way. Let's look at the table again. And if I sort the column by clicking on the name, and I'll sort it again, we can see the largest sites here are quite big. So for a font size, that'd be huge. I'll close this. I'll double click Brownfield Land again. And in the labels, we're gonna use a single label and the value field is not gonna be name. We're gonna use the hectares column. And if I hit apply, all the labels are the same size. To use a different size, we'll do what we did before, but first I will change it to bold font so it's easier to see. And instead of size 10, I'll click the Data Define button, click Edit. And here, what we're gonna do is, if I go to Fields and Values, and go to Hectares. If we just did this and clicked OK and Apply, we would get some crazy size labels. As in, some are so small they disappear. So we want them to all be at least a minimum size. So I'll click Edit, and then I'll type in, say, six, plus the hectares of the site. Click OK and apply. That's a bit better, but I want the largest ones to be bigger and the smallest ones to be a bit bigger too. So let's go to edit this. And instead of six plus hectares, let's do six plus hectares times four. Click OK and apply. And we would do some further tweaking to this. For example, if I edit it again, I might change it to have a minimum font size of eight. Click OK and apply that. But that's how it works. I've changed the symbol size and the label size based on one of the columns in the data set. If I want to add a buffer, I could do exactly the same thing. Draw a text buffer, click apply. And if I wanted to resize the buffer, proportion it to the label size, I could go to edit there Scroll to the bottom, I'll use my recent one, and I won't do it by times four. I'll just do one plus hectares times three. Let's try that, click OK and apply. And you can see what happens here, that's far too big. This sometimes happens, so I'll edit that. I'll remove the times three, click OK and apply. OK, still too big, edit that. We'll do it divided by five for the hectares. OK and apply. So that's better. All, you, all, you, all I'm doing here is just setting the size of things based on a column in our data set. So you can try that yourself. Uh, the links to the data sets are in the description, but it will work on any kind of data of this type.